Did iOS 14 just put it into Facebook advertising? An Apple update is happening at the beginning of 2021. What does this mean? What is about to happen? And what can you guys expect? And most importantly, for us dropshippers and owners of e-commerce brands, how is this going to be affecting our Facebook ads? Hey, no worries. That is exactly why you guys are here. In this video, I'm gonna be covering every single thing that you need to know about iOS 14 and the solution behind everything. What's going on everybody? My name is AC Hampton. Welcome back to my channel. In this channel, we cover everything about drop shipping, e-commerce brands, ways to make money online, Airbnb, and so much more. In this video, I'm gonna be covering the solution to the iOS 14 update that if you are a digital marketer or a drop shipper by now, you most likely have heard about this. Hey, please smash that like button below. Please show me some love to be able to get my videos out with the algorithm. As you guys know, I've never missed a single week and I do not plan on it so please smash that like button below before i dive in as you guys know i give a free consulting call out every single week to win a free consulting call, all you have to do is three simple things this week. The first thing you must do is in the comment section below, comment Wi-Fi bread and what your first action is to crush your goal in 2021. The second thing you must do is follow me on Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. And the third thing you must do is smash that like button below and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be giving the consulting call winner of last week at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned. It's a brand new month, a brand new year, which means there's brand new goals. If you have drive and you want to be able to take control of your your life and you want to be guided into the right direction, that is exactly what I'm doing in my case study slash mentorship, where I'm personally guiding you to be able to achieve your dreams and be able to really make this Wi-Fi bread, making an extra five to 10K a month. If you guys are interested in that, again, DM me the word boss, or you guys can apply at supremeecommentorship.com and you'll get a response back within 24 hours. As I was explaining a few moments ago, January, 2021, there's going to be some huge updates that are coming out for Apple. This update is going to be affecting Facebook ads and how you guys can be able to track your KPIs, which are your key performance indicators for data. And trust me, Facebook has made it publicly known that they are not too happy about this with Apple. So I'm going to be covering what this update is, what to expect for it, how to prepare for it, and most certainly, and like always, how to continuously wipe out your competition. All right, so what is this update actually? So every single Apple device, doesn't matter who owns it, has an IFDA number. IFDA stands for Identifier for Advertisers. So this is exactly what you and me who are online advertisers take full advantage of when we are using the analytics of our data. So we use this on multiple platforms, just like Facebook advertising, where we are looking at personalized and targeted campaigns that the data shows from our customers. All right, so you can basically see right here, it says, what is IDFA? The IDFA is only means for advertisers to precisely target and track users with apps on iOS devices. It also says you can think of an IDFA as something like a cookie that is tied to a device instead of browsers in that it enables an advertiser to get notified when a user of a phone has taken an action like clicking on their ad in a browser and then installing using or interacting with their ads in the app. Sounds familiar to your pixel tracking this data, doesn't it? So basically what is happening is Apple is going to explicitly allow users to opt into different apps. So basically it's gonna look just like this. So you see how it says the data used to track you, it's just going to say that before you enter any app. So whenever you enter Facebook, it's going to ask you this same question. It's gonna look very similar to this. Also it's gonna be looking just like this on the next screen where it says, would like permissions to track you across apps and websites owned by other companies, allow tracking or ask app not to track. So they're gonna be asking permissions to track your data and your personalized usage on Facebook or other social media platforms. And trust me, Facebook is not a fan of this, like I was saying earlier. They are trying to speak for small businesses and trust me, they are making it known. Let's go ahead and check it out. So here we are, this is exactly what Facebook had to say to Apple. It says, we're standing up to Apple for small businesses everywhere. At Facebook, small businesses is at the core of our business. More than 10 million businesses use our advertising tool each month to find new customers 
hire employees, and engage with their communities. Many in the small business community have shared concerns about Apple's forced software update, which will limit businesses' ability to run personalized ads and reach their customers effectively. Facebook's also saying without personalized ads, Facebook data shows that the average small business advertiser stands to see a cut of over 60% in their sales for every dollar they spend. And then they just keep going on and on and on. And they're really just trying to stand up for the small businesses. Also, another part of this article that they mentioned said, small businesses have small budgets. For these small budgets to work, they have to be targeted at the customers that matter. It doesn't do a local wedding planner any good to reach people who are not planning a wedding. Likewise, it doesn't do small e-commerce outfits selling customized dog leashes any good to reach out to cat owners. Put simply, by dramatically limiting the effectiveness of personalized advertising, Apple's policy will make it much harder for small businesses to reach their targeted audience, which will limit their growth and their ability to compete with big companies. And honestly, right now, there is not a lot that Facebook can do. Because if Apple simply does not want to put Facebook on the App Store where people can't download at all if they don't comply to their policies, well, guess what? They're going to do it and they've done it to many other apps in the past. Literally, they do it in a click. So what is this actually going to look like and how are we going to be affected by this? All right, right here, you guys can basically see at a glance what this is going to be looking like. So the first thing is the user clicks on an ad and is redirected to the app store to install the app. So let's just say that this app is Facebook. Apple Flyer SDK updates the conversion value during the measurement window. So they basically measure the conversion value of what is happening. Let's just say that whatever that is, is a conversion value on your dropshipping store. So then Apple waits 24 hours from last conversion value to update this. Then iOS sends the post back to the ad network who enrich it and forward it to the apps flyer. The apps flyer then verifies records and translates the post SKAD network dashboard update. That's basically a little bit of rundown of what this is going to be doing. So after 24 hours after the conversion is tracked, then it's going to be updating whenever you're tracking the data or whatever platform you're tracking the data on. As you can see, it's going to be affecting the data that's coming into your Facebook ads and it's going to be affecting the efficiency of being able to read it as well. Currently, whenever you're advertising, it shows the conversion value immediately after it happens. Well, I mean, not immediately. As you guys know, I have a love and hate war with Facebook not tracking all of my conversions. So basically what you saw on the last screen is Apple's going to start using an SK ad network. This basically means means SK ad network infrastructure part of iOS by Apple helps advertisers measure campaign success while maintaining user privacy. The SK ad network infrastructure operates without IDFA or other advertising ID. Consequently, there's no need for user consent to implement the solution. No need for consent to implement this solution. That means it's gonna happen regardless. So you can see as you scroll down the metrics that are going to be affected. So the clicks, the installs, the impressions, the cost, the campaign cost, the converted users, a lot of different conversion aspects and conversion tracking metrics. This is basically telling us that they are going to only show us limited amounts of data that's coming in skewed. So this is coming in around 24 hours after the conversion event has happened. So you're probably asking, when is this going to be affecting us? Honestly, we do not know until people click on the opt-in button for tracking. All right, so short term, what you guys should be expecting. So retargeting definitely is gonna be affected. Your interest testing is gonna be affected and understanding how to scale or cut is gonna be taking a little bit more time because again, the data is coming in later than it usually is. But I know this has been a sad story, this whole video, but you guys know I am a solution finder. So I'm gonna be able to give you a solution to be able to prepare for this and have this not affect you in any way and let's just be real as an advertiser you are going to be hit with roadblocks and it is up to you to be able to continuously strive forward and be able to wipe out your competition there's always light at the end of the tunnel so let's get one thing covered real quick facebook is still and will be still in the next couple of years the best platform to be able to advertise your drop shipping or e-commerce brands on it's not going anywhere right now it's not going anywhere next year and it's is not going anywhere in the short feasible future. Just like animals, we as advertisers have to be able to adapt. Very similar to a polar bear, just like how they have to adapt by having thicker fur to be able to survive the cold winter winds. That's very similar to us having to adapt as advertisers. Since I have started advertising on this platform three years ago, 
This platform continuously updates every single year with something big. Every year, it's a huge update. Every year, it's the end of online businesses. Not even close, not even close. We adapt, we make new plans, we make these plans into action, and we implement them to continue to see success. And like always, there are actions that you can be able to prepare for this, like I mentioned earlier. So Facebook came out with this version of actions that you can be able to prepare for iOS 14 to not allow it to affect you. So honestly, what I'm about to show you is what I've already done on all of my dropshipping stores and my e-commerce brands, and it's very simple, and you should be preparing for this now. So the first one they say is you may need to verify your website's domain to help avoid any future disruption of your website's campaigns. And it's very simple to be able to do that. You're just simply gonna go to your ads manager, go to business manager, go to business settings, then go to domains, simply just add your domain, it's it's going to give you instructions on how to set it up and then after submitting this for verification it's going to take about 72 hours and then that is step one of two to be able to overcome this problem so the second thing that you can be able to do is make sure that your account has conversion tracking set up and auto advanced tracking as well and you guys can see all of these articles and all the things i mentioned in the description below and you guys can see right here on this document, it's going to tell you exactly how to do this and how to implement it with your Shopify store. So make sure to go ahead and check this out. It is in the description below. So to wrap it up, is this honestly something that you should be worried about? No, honestly, I can say no. Year after year, things change on this platform and guess what, we keep it moving. Even with what we know right now, this could be able to change in the next couple of weeks, but those solutions are not changing. So make sure you take action on those today. Just keep an eye out on everything else as I do not see much else changing from this point forward. And trust me, some people are going to take advantage of this opportunity and some people are going to really lose it and have to stop advertising because they are too scared of what's to come. So the question that I have for you is which one are you? As entrepreneurs, it will not kill anything. We always preserve and find ways over these hurdles. It also makes the barrier to entry higher, so make sure you continuously think about that as well. I really appreciate you guys watching this video, and I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated with all the new things that are coming out in the next couple of weeks, so make sure to stay updated on my channel. And if you guys have any more questions about this, about dropshipping, Facebook ads, or any of my services, you guys can go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton and DM me the word YouTube, and I'll reach out with a couple questions to see if I can help you out in any way possible. And again, if you guys could please smash that like button below and subscribe to my channel i've never missed a week and i hope to continue to make these awesome value pack videos for you and do not think that i forgot about the free consulting call winner the free consulting call winner of this week is ayub ari i hope i said your name right congratulations on winning go ahead and reach out to me on instagram at ac underscore hampton and go ahead and let me know that you won i'm gonna send you over a zoom call we're gonna be able to check out your ads manager answer any of your questions questions and again continue to create this generational wealth and if you guys want the chance to be able to win this next coming week all you guys have to do is do those three simple things at the very beginning of this video and as mentioned at the very beginning of this video if you want to be your own boss you want to quit that nine to five and you want to invest in creating generational wealth for yourself dm me the word boss on instagram at ac underscore hampton or you guys can apply for my mentorship for the 10 spots that are available for the month of January at SupremeEcomMentorship.com. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. This is AC, and I'm out.